and hey welcome back to another episode of sky factory 4 and as you can see <clears throat> we have improved some of the base the parts of the base like we've laid out uh, the logic cables the variable store our source of energy and as you can see here i've tried uh, making the automation and i'm glad to say that it works perfectly fine and yes, here I am going to replicate everything that I just did to this first packager. Works perfectly fine. This is so efficient by the way, and I'm so happy that I was able to uh, discover this. Actually, I found a video in the YouTube, but it's not really working. I mean, it's not really efficient because it uses only one kind of resin in a corn. So not... Not really efficient, but hey, I'm here. I am. I was able to fill in the, the the slots of the packager and make it efficient. So yes. So that's what I said. Logic Integrated Dynamics is a really powerful mod because it can make you or it helps you automate more efficiently. Right. Okay. So before everything else, I would like to explain how the the system or the logic works. So. As you can see here in, this, uh, in the recipes, it uses five resins, but only uses four acorns. So with this, with this in mind, uh, it's most likely that the acorns will will f be full, or will most likely be still 64, while we'll run out of resin. So we would like to remain or we would like we would not like to filter out the resins out of the packager because if that if the resins will be filtered out of the packager then most likely there will be a potential that it will be inserting random in the the slots like for example this could be we could make one sand out of that but if this crafts one sand then what happens is the sand resin will be filtered out of the packager and then it could be filled in with either I don't know one clay acorn or a resin and, and I mean it will destroy the automation so as you can see here since it's not work it's not crafting it because that's how our logic works as you can see here it's now false because it equates to five resin so Let's just end all this chit chat and let's just demonstrate how you uh, make this thing happen. So first is you need to make a portable logic programmer. Now, portable logic programmer is very easy to get. You just need to get craft logic programmer, and, and the recipes for that is just one block of crystal mineral and one workbench. As you can see. Now, <clears throat> you also need an inventory reader and a redstone writer because this redstone writer will be turning on and off the packager and the redstone reader will be reading what's inside the packager okay so first things first is you need to open the inventory reader and then find this red item a red item i mean colored item and the reason why it's red because it's a list type so you're just filling in you will automatically get the list of the items inside the packager nice what you're going to do next is you need to op open the portable logic programmer and then get yourself an integer of five talk about that later and next is you need to get the different minerals I mean the resins <coughs> excuse me and then you'll get item type so Let's say gravel and then coal and then iron resin. Nice. And then what you're going to do next is you need to type in item list count, this one. Then what the item list count do is it counts the number of items like for example we have a list here and then we have a gravel resin it counts the number of gravel resins that is found in the packager right so it it outputs a number 
of how many items and then just do the same to the others that and that need to make sure that these are not these are different and it is different next is we need to get a not equal so either it's in here this one not equal the number of items that is within the packager should not be equal to five this one because if that if it should not be equal to five because if that's the case then it will be filtered out again that's what I said earlier so you will get a boolean uh, output you can just put this one right there put this one right there there you have it okay next what we're going to do next let's just put this back in because we don't need to use that what we're going to do next is we need to merge all of these things, the three of them, into one boolean. And we can do that by using the AND operator. What the AND operator do is that it merge, in a nutshell, it merge into booleans. If you're using booleans. Okay, so if both of them are true, then the output would be true. Now if either of them is false then it will output false now if both of them are false then it will still output false so that's how it works now since we only have two we only merge two we need to merge again the end valuable and the third one and we get ourselves one boolean nice so this is pretty much it like we 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 have now merged all three of them into one boolean. Now, if we put that in our variable store, let's see, uh, this is the one that we made here, the first one. So let's just mirror that one so that you know it looks nice. That 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 that. There we go. And then this is the output. We need to put that in our redstone writer because if it's true then it emits redstone but it's false it doesn't emit redstone now it's true because it is not the the rest is not equal to five okay but if let's see if we get five <coughs> excuse me say we get four four plus one equals five oh, if I could just we put 5 in here we could see that it is equals to false now because again we don't want to filter out the iron resin okay that's what I that's what I said once it reaches the number the, the exact amount of resin in acorn it will be filtered out now the reason why we didn't use acorn because most likely it will be full it will be just one stack and yes now if we turn on let's say we collect the, the items so everything will be just in here if we just don't run out of space let's get, just get this wood because that's a lot of wood now if we by the way I set the channel to one there so I need to set this one to channel one for that okay oh wait, wait, wait yeah 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 one and then save what I haven't see it, it, you get to see the action going on now if this equates to five it will stop the packager but since it's not equating to five so it's not stopping as you can see here but as you can see here oh it doesn't but if that equates to 5, let me show you. Let me just show you how we get this one first. Let's see, we don't have any. Uh, let's see, I mean, this, the both, both packagers are the same, so it's... Oh god, it's not enough. Can we get one more? 
I could get one more. Oh god, it's not on foot. What is the inside of this packager, by the way? Okay, that's one. Okay, we just need one resin, iron resin. Now, if this equates to five, as you can see, it it looks like it's working, but it's really not working. It's just a visual glitch. This had me the first time. Like I thought it's not working, but it it actually is working. That's why I got confused in the first place. But still, I was able to uh, recognize the debug. So that's a very good thing. Like you need to be keen with your senses because. If not, then you'll get bamboozled and get to think that it's not working anymore. So yes, don't worry, this is just a visual glitch. It's still there. It's still there. So it, this is 100% working. As you can see here, it's false, so that's why it's not working. But it looks like it's working, but it's not. Okay, It's just a visual glitch from the packager. I hope this one gets a uh, patch, you know. Because this is confusing sometimes. But I'm glad to say that this is working. And yes, that's pretty much it. That's how we automate the packager in, uh, with the use of integrated dynamics. Nice. Isn't, isn't this efficient? Isn't this nice? This is awesome. Now, for the next episode, I'll be putting in everything in here so that we get to see the actions that we get... Uh, we get to see this thing in action and yes that's pretty much it thank you all for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode bye bye oh yeah uh, i almost forgot the our last video we were voiding the men i uh, the, the resins right it's actually that's actually wrong uh, it should be the acorn that we'll be voiding i already took care of that so don't worry the acorn should be the one that needs to be voided because it's 5 is to 4, right? Like the acorn will be using 4, ac four acorns only, unlike the resin, which is 5. So most of the time, the acorns will be the one that will be piling up. As you can see here, we have 0 resins, but we still have lots of acorn. Okay, so the acorn should be the one voided because over time it, this will pile up and this needs to be voided so yes just to clarify things <laughs> i hope it didn't uh confuse you somewhat you know i hope you're okay with that or you took care of that because this could be nasty you sure you yeah you know you know what i mean yeah that that's pretty much it thank you for watching again see you in the next episode bye bye To join forces